Example 8.1. Nicolia Water dispenses its product, Nature's Pure Water, via vending machines with most current locations at food markets and pharmacy or chemist stores. The average monthly fixed cost per side is $900, while each gallon costs $0.18 cents to purify and sells for $0.30. Cents. Determine the monthly sales volume needed to break even. The break even for a single project looks like this. You will have the units in the horizontal axis and the dollars in the vertical axis. Note that units are abbreviated with the letter Q. Okay, then you will have a linear revenue. In this case, we're going to be doing all linear for the class. And the linear total cost. Now the total cost is made up of two elements, fixed cost and variable cost. The fixed costs are any costs incurred regardless of the volume level or your activity. For example, building costs. You rent a warehouse and it doesn't matter if you sell more or if you sell less, you still have to pay the rent. Okay, and it's going to be the same rent regardless of how much you sell. Variable costs are the costs that vary with your level of activity. An example could be materials. The more you sell, the more materials you have to buy to make your products. The less you sell, the less materials you have to buy. Okay, so this would be an example of variable costs. Even though the price per material would be probably the same, but it would add up if you have to buy more. So y if you add these two, you will get the total costs for this graph. Now the break-even point is the point at which the revenues and the costs meet. If you go down the line to the horizontal axis, this is the number of units that you would need to sell in order to make zero profit, so there's no profit, but also there's no loss. So you're surviving there. Any units less then the break-even point will be a loss and any units above the break-even quantity would be a profit. This is a formula to find the number of units to break even. It's the fixed costs only divided by the unit revenue minus the unit variable cost. These lowercase letters are per unit. So here you have your small v, it's the cost per unit. If you want to find the variable cost overall, you would have to multiply that times the number of units. And it's the same thing for the revenue. So the little r would be the unit revenue. But if you want to find the overall revenue, you would have to multiply it times the number of units. Okay. So let's go back to our problem and see what we have. It says that the fixed cost per site is $900 and it may be because they have to pay rent to sell the, uh, the water so they have to put vending machines okay, so maybe they have to pay for that space while each gallon costs 18 cents and sells for 30 cents. Okay, so let's write that down. So we will have fixed cost $900. Uh, each gallon, so that's per unit, it's going to be the lowercase v. This is going to be the cost per gallon, 18 cents per gallon. Or we can say that in dollars, this would be 0.18. And the revenue per gallon, also lowercase r, is going to be 30 cents or in dollars, 0.30 dollars. So we want to find the monthly sales volume needed to break even. That means that we need our break even units which is going to be the fixed cost divided by 
the unit revenue minus the unit variable cost. Okay, so we plug in, we have everything we need, 900 divided by 0 0.30 minus 0.18. This is going to give us 7,500 gallons. Do not use decimals here because we're selling the units. You cannot sell point something gallons because it's going to give you the, the whole unit. Okay, so try to round it up or down to the nearest whole number. Okay, so then again, this water company needs to sell 7,500 gallons for them not to make any profit, but also for them not to lose any money. Everything higher than this, at 7,501 gallons, they will start making a profit. 